This is hard for any parent to hear. One young man punched and kicked by several other students. WJZ is live outside of city school headquarters. Rachel Menentoff with their response about the disturbing video that's quickly gone viral. Rachel. Rick and Vic, good evening. In a statement sent to us, Baltimore Schools says it's working to identify the students involved and that it will take appropriate action in accordance with the school code of conduct and the law. And we want to warn you, the video we're about to show you is graphic. On Wednesday, this video showing several students violently punching another student was posted to social media. It's horrible. We're only showing a few seconds of this minute long video. It happened inside of Blueford Drew Jamison STEM Academy West. It was very disappointing and hurting. Ann Reddix lives across the street from the school. Her grandson, Ramonte, is also in middle school, an eighth grader at Baltimore County Schools. I always tell my grandson when he have any problem in school to go to a teacher or you go to the principal. To solve, try to solve the problem. Baltimore City Schools tells WJZ that school counselors, social workers, and psychologists were available to students and staff to answer any questions and alleviate concerns. Back in my day, we just we didn't we didn't have a whole lot of fighting in school. That's the place we're supposed to learn. In its statement to us, Baltimore Schools writes, "Quote." We are committed to the safety and security of our students and staff and work hard every day to create positive and supportive environments for teaching and learning. Right now, the school is working to identify the students responsible and will determine appropriate punishment. If there's no communication, even, even with, at home with the children at home with the parents, it's going to be problems in the school. And that's, that's where it starts at. While some of the best advice from one student to another remains. By talking it out instead of fighting. The school and district leaders have reached out to the student who was attacked to provide any additional support. We're live at school headquarters. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.